Okay, we're going to look at some more tooling I got. Um, when I bought my lathe, I thought, you know, I had some high-speed uh, steel tool bits and grinding my own and that, but then I seen that time, uh, it's, that I'm wasting doing this and, you know, a project that I should be done in a few hours taking me all day. So I decided to get some tool holders and get some indexable carbide tools. Uh, and this here is a seven piece indexable tool holder set, half inch shank, uh, Shars. I got it on eBay from a company called Discount Machine. I bought several things from them. They're a pretty decent company, no different than many of the others. So you get this nice aluminum hard case and it comes up and you have uh, your spare screws which is nice. They give you a set of spare screws, a little inspection thing and you have all your wrenches and that you need in here to uh, set your inserts. And you get seven different types of turning tools. Um, you get a, and they all have an indexable carbide insert. Now here is a uh, threading tool. You got three edges on there, it's kind of standard, which is nice. Uh, so you don't have to fool around. I, I went and bought some carbide uh, that are brazed on to the cast iron. But you got your threading tool. You have a uh, another tool here with this style insert. This is probably call a roughing call it a roughing tool. It's got a good uh, radius, good size radius, and a geometry in a way. The way the geometry of this insert, you can probably turn and get away with facing with this, taking light facing cuts. So this is a turning tool, and probably what. I would call a finish. And why I would call this a finish tool is this has a smaller insert in there and a smaller radius than this other one that I would call a rougher. And a lot of times when I ground my uh, high speed steel tool but I had a smaller radius on that cutting edge and it would do good for finishing but when roughing uh, it, it would, it, you know, make a noise and squeal and everyone watches the videos going, what are you doing? The tools though. So you got a smaller radius turning tool, um, two edges on this one. There's three edges on the other ones, but you only got two on this little tiny insert. And then you'd have another one that is left-handed, same design. But you could either do left hand turning or set this up to where you could face with this. That's your other, that's the fourth one. Then you have this one with a different style insert. And if you look at this, the sharp angle, this tool would be good if you run in a live center in uh, the part, your geometry to get up there with the uh, center in the end of the part. This would be a good tool for that. Where the geometry on this other tool here, this larger one, uh, it could, you could, but to get in closer, you would probably use this. So they're giving you a good assortment of tool geometry in that to use in this set. That's why I kind of like it. Then you have this one here uses that diamond shaped style insert. And this one here, you can probably, uh, we call these profiling tools or whatever. If you had to cut a larger diameter up in the front of your workpiece and get behind it and like cut a smaller diameter behind it, uh, you'd probably use this to plunge in and turn. Or you could use this to, you know, cut chamfers on the side. So it's another useful tool. And then we have a nice part off tool here which has your standard style part off insert which is nice you got two edges on that 
And I basically that's what I was looking for. It's a nice uh, part off insert. The one that came with the set with it, um, I really don't like that style. I kind of like this style better. Now the cost of this kit was like $75.55, which shipping comes out to about $82 for this set here. Um, the thing about it is, I don't know what the inserts cost. Um, probably you can buy packs of inserts from uh, the company I got it from or whatever. They're probably standard sizes. I've seen them before. I'm not sure what they are. You have to look them up. And if you go to the uh, where I bought this, he does list the insert numbers and order numbers and everything else. So it kind of simplifies it. So uh, it's a pretty nice set. I like it. And I'm hoping I can get working with it and it'll save me some time. That's why I bought all the uh, other holders because I like to set these and what the advantage of this type of tool is, is say you set one of these tools you get it on center, you got it in your quick change uh, holder and it gets dull. Well you pop the screw out, rotate it around or replace the insert and you're right there you don't have to you know, what I was doing, if I had a tool got dull and I have to take it out and grind it, I grind it, the high speed tool bit, then the center is going to be off, you can ground the top and the sides, and uh, you have to readjust the tool. Uh, they're kind of time savers, but as for the insert life, or how much the inserts cost, I don't know. And if you're working with hard, harder steels like stainless, and I was trying to do some stuff with some tool steel, uh, the carbide is the way to go. So we got this, and I kind of like it. We'll try. I'm going to try it out, and I'll probably make another video and tell you how they work, or you know how good they are, and. Uh, look into the uh, inserts. I'm sorry I don't have any more information about buying the inserts, but just a little interesting thing I got and uh, kind of upgrade my tooling situation here.